manure, which we'll be using as a diverter, just to divert the oil in case of any influx of water or gas, which we don't expect. These are all pipes for drilling right here that we're walking by. Yes, exactly. They're piping. That's, right here. that's the old pipe that we'll need for the first two sections, so up to 600 meters, that's the pipe we'll use. Alright, now we're walking underneath the rig. There it is. We're going to walk underneath and check out what just got installed today, uh, BOP or Blowout Preventer. be done by the end of the day or tomorrow it will be completely installed. And this is very important for this is very important for what reason? It's special for these first two sections. As I said we don't expect to have any influx of water or gas, but it's just a, a prevention just in case we need it. So to contain possible So we got one of these engines. We are testing at the moment the engines. We'll have we have three engines in total. Since this is an electrical rig, and we'll use the electric from the generators created by these engines. So here we have a complete mud system that we tested. These are the, our mud tanks. Behind there is a mud pit. And, uh, and down there we have mud pumps, which we'll show you later on. Mud pumps. We're going up onto the rig, actually up here, so we can see the whole mud system. So this is where the bags are cut, and the mud uh, and the chemicals are dropped into here. And this helps uh, lubricate the drill bit, also uh, brings up material for testing and so on and so here's the engines that uh, work the mud system okay so we have three mud pumps two of them are 1600 horsepower and third one we'll use these two ones and the third one is only for backup hope we won't need it Here is what we call a mud pit or a cutting pit, which is a sufficient size for this project. Here you can see the shaker units. They are not yet, uh, we didn't put shaker units yet, but we'll plan to do that in the next couple of days. And all the big pieces of rock will come up here and you'll be able to, exactly. to separate them for testing. and Exactly, and then we have these flights and all the cuttings will go to the mud pit. Now we're going up onto uh, the rig floor where the pipes will be laid. So what, are we, what are we looking at down here? Uh, we are standing at the uh, rig floor with all of its equipment. Plus we have a uh, top there, top drive, and uh, so we'll use top drive for drilling. It's not uh, so drilling with kelly or regulatory cable. This is where they set all the stuff for the uh, drill pipe, correct? Yeah. Set it so it can go down, and there's where it goes down into this hole here. All the drilling works. Probably straight down there is the the BOP we were just below looking at when we walked out. And all of these unit uh, pieces of equipment set the set the pipe. Driller cabin and the driller is operating the complete uh, rig from here. So all the time in June, there's somebody sitting in there. Yes. Someone sitting in there making sure everything is safe, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. 24 7, somebody will be here. I guess in Israel, 24 6, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay. So, this is uh, where we are on the rig. And uh, so, from here, I want to show you a couple pretty neat sites. Out there is Jordan, so right there along the Jordan River and on the other side those hills, that's in the country of Jordan. Then if you go and look on the other side here, you can see Mount Gilboa. 
out there. So straight up ahead, these hills over here. This is Mount Gilboa. Over there looking east. And of course from up here, there's all the piping ready to go for the drilling. And up here on the drill rig. Now once this gets going, once we start drilling, uh, there will be no one but the work.